Uh, for the last two days, you can write no warm up, right? Wednesday, Thursday. If you weren't here Tuesday or if you were testing or whatever, you can put no warm up on Tuesday as well because I don't think if you were here, I don't think we did one. Or maybe we did. I don't know. Anyways, I think we had one actually on Monday and then we have one today and then we'll turn it in here in a minute. Um, your last unit test is going to be next Friday, so, you know, I haven't been here the last two days, so we're going to do what we can to catch up, see how that works out. Uh, real quick, I'm missing some calculators. If you, by chance, by accident or on purpose, have a yellow calculator at home, please bring it back Monday. It looks bad on me when they're missing, when they keep going missing, which is not cool. So, I know some people borrow them. And don't tell me, you can always just tell me and we can write it down, keep a record of it. But um, if you have a calculator, please bring it back. Okay, here's a review of 10.3a and 10.3b for this warm up. Do y'all remember what we do if we have a log and it's dividing inside? We can break it into what? Okay, we can make two logs. What, what's going to go in between them if it's dividing? Subtraction. Right, so if they were multiplying, it would be two logs being added, but since this is dividing, it's going to be two logs that are subtracting. So the first log is going to be the numerator, what's on top. Okay, so log base 2, the top is 3x, and then minus log base 2 of y. Okay, so again, you got the top minus the bottom. And then I would ask you, is that it? Okay. However, do you all see right here that we have 3x? If you have 3x, what's happening between the 3 and the x? Yeah, that really means 3 times x, and we can still split that up even more. So if they're being multiplied, you can split them. What's going to go between them? Adding, right? So if, there's, if you see multiplying inside... Split it with a plus sign, okay? So this is going to split into log 2 of 3, and then log 2 of x. Y'all see how we split those two because they were multiplying, and I got to put a plus between it. And don't forget to bring down the last part, minus log base 2 of y. So the minus part stays there okay okay again make sure yesterday and the day before put no warm-up make sure your name is actually on it um, this only bars can you help me uh, pick those up okay we're gonna do quick notes this is gonna be easy we're gonna have an assignment on it should be again pretty easy If you couldn't tell from the warm-up sheet, oh, sorry, the warm-up stars one, of course. All right. Now, these notes are going to be short and sweet, okay? No big deal. So make sure you're looking up here. I don't want that headphones in because you'll miss it, but it's really quick. Very easy to figure this stuff out, okay? In my humble opinion. Here we go. This is called the log properties or the power rule of logs, okay? Logarithms. Cool. Now, look right here. This this is your rule. Log base b of m to the power of k. So basically, if you have 
if inside your parentheses, how do I get this? So if inside of your parentheses, if inside the parentheses has an exponent, all you're going to do is take that exponent and move it to the front. Okay, so if there's an exponent inside, it goes to the front. Do you see how that works? So instead of m to the k inside the parentheses, now it's just m in the parentheses, and the k is now in front. That's all we're doing today. Any exponents inside, drag it to the front. And then you should be able to work backwards. If there's anything in front, drag it inside to the exponent. I'll show you exactly how it looks on these examples, but I just want you to see the rule there. And then the inverse rule, working backwards, if there's a number out front, it's going to go up here inside the parentheses as the exponent. Okay. So let's just cut to the chase, get to these examples. Um, you get the warm-up later. Yeah. Go to pass. So, <clears throat> does this log have a exponent in the argument? When we say the argument, we mean here, inside my pen wants to work. What the heck is going on? One second. Okay, so the My apologies, my technology is not working. Here we go. So this right here is called the argument. Is there an exponent in that argument, in the parentheses? Yes, yes. okay. Again, we're getting near the end of the year, and I want you all to pass. So if you're looking at phones, I don't believe you want to say anything. Just want to say things. Give me five minutes of your life real, real quick. So I see an exponent inside the parentheses. I'm going to bring it out front. So it's literally just going to be four log base 2 of 3, that's it. Does everyone see that all I did was move that exponent out front? That's it. Not too bad, right? Let's try another one. Okay. So down here, do we have an exponent inside? Yes. Just drag it out front. That's it. 4 natural log of 2. Is that easy? Hopefully. As long as you know the rule. And the rule is exponents in the argument become the coefficient out front in front of the log. Let's go to example 3. Same idea. Maybe one of y'all can help me with this one. Is there an exponent in the argument here? What do I do with it? Put it out front. What am I going to write? X log of 3. That's it. Too easy. Right? All right. Let's try this one. In the argument, is there an exponent? 2y, that whole 2y is going to go out front. So... 2y log base 2 of x. Cool. I hope everyone's getting how simple this can be, hopefully. Now, the last two are working backwards. So example 1 through 3 is like expanding it. So example 5 and 6 is simplifying it, which is going the other direction. So 
Think, think about backwards. If there's a number out front, that means it can go up into the exponent inside the parentheses. Does that make sense? Like if it's out front, you can go backwards. So log base three of what? What's the base? X to the power of five. Cool, so whatever's in front can go up inside the parentheses in the argument to be the exponent. Okay, now this last one has like an extra step involved, but we can still do it, hopefully. All right, now I see two different logs. They have the same base, that's cool. Each of them has a coefficient. There's a two in front here. There's an X in front here. Each of those coefficients out front are gonna become the exponent inside of these parentheses that I'm gonna write here. So this two is gonna become this exponent. This X is gonna become this exponent. Does that make sense? It's just two different ones in the same, okay? So my first one's gonna be log base three of what? X to the power of two or X squared plus log base three. What's this one gonna be? Say what? Okay, five to the power of X. It's not X to the power of five because remember five's already here. The X moves up into the exponent, okay? But we can still do one more step here. When you see two logs being added, what can I do with the arguments inside? It's not Adam. Let me remind you what we just did on the warm-up. Do y'all remember this right here? When they're adding, it's because what were they doing inside? Multiplying, right? So again, if you're adding two logs with the same base, it really means you're just going to multiply them on the inside. That was 10.3a. We already did this earlier. So let me show you again. Since we are adding logs of the same base, they're going to multiply on the inside of the parentheses, in the argument. Okay? Are with me? Adding logs means multiply the insides. So inside, I'm going to put x squared times 5 to the x. You cannot actually combine those together into one thing because they have different bases. Okay? If the bases don't match, you just literally leave it like that. Okay? That's about it. Most people from last period were able to do the assignment pretty quickly because it's pretty straightforward. If there's an exponent, bring it out front. If you're expanding it, okay? If you're simplifying it, Anything out front, bring it on the inside to be the exponent. You might have to do one of these extra steps where you combine them. Remember, adding is multiplying on the inside. Subtraction is dividing on the inside. Think of 10.3a and 10.3b. Okay, there's a difference. Okay. So I'm going to pass these out. Knock these out. Because I've been wiped out for a few days, Unfortunately, your grades are not as up-to-date as they need to be. I'm going to work on that while y'all work on this. Let's get started. If you haven't done 10.3a, 10.3b, get those done too and turn those in.